Hey guys, Anna Nelson with She Found Grace, and today I'm going to do another homeschool curriculum review. For today, we're going to be doing math. And like always, when I do my homeschool curriculum reviews, I always share with you guys what I liked about them, what I didn't like about them, and whether or not we're going to be using them next year. So let's get to it. Math. Math is one of the subjects where um, I, I personally have struggled a lot with growing up. Um, it's also one of the things that I ask the most about aren't you scared to teach math? Well, you don't, you didn't go to college to, you know, uh, teach them this and that. Why wouldn't you want your child to go to a person who actually went to college? And it's like, you guys, homeschool stuff nowadays, okay, with all the varieties of curriculum we have out there, it's almost impossible to fail at this thing. Whether you choose to go on a co-op and have another mom who loves calculus teach or um, you find just the perfect curriculum that even you can really understand, sit down and learn the concept with your child. It's impossible to fail at this thing. Um, so I wanna encourage you to not shy away from homeschooling based on math. Trust me, there's tons of curriculum, there's tons of resources, there's tons of things out there that are gonna help you with math. So I have a fourth grader and a second grader. For my fourth grader, um, I chose teaching textbooks. I think this is the one that comes up the most. And I'm gonna tell you the things that I love about teaching textbooks, but before that, I wanna tell you that it is $119. If you buy the notebook, if you buy the kid's workbook and the answer book and the CDs, this is gonna be about $119. At least that's how much I paid for it on their website. I don't know if their prices have changed. Um, however, you have the option to buy all three or you can simply just buy the booklet and their textbook. That is going to be a lot cheaper, okay? So I'm going to tell you guys the things that I, I loved about teaching textbooks. What I love about teaching textbook, number one, is the fact that it's spiral learning. If you don't know what spiral learning is, it means when you go over the same concept over and over again, it keeps coming up throughout the whole curriculum. And I think that's important, especially for math, regardless of your children's learning style, because math is something you have to practice to perfect it. And I feel like I didn't have that growing up. It was like, here's division. Oh, hey, look, we need to learn fractions. And we didn't touch division again, you know? So it's, I think, especially important for us as mothers to Obviously, we have to realize, you know, and acknowledge the learning style of our child, but I think with math, it's just one of the things where it's like, all right, suck it up, buttercup. You guys got to do some spiral learning with math to be able to practice the concepts and be able to get them down. So that's what I really love about teaching textbooks. It's spiral learning. So they'll teach you a concept, and then the first couple problems will be that new concept they just taught you, but then they go over the rest of the stuff that you've already gone through. Um, the last couple weeks and it keeps coming up and it keeps coming up and it keeps coming up I've noticed that they haven't even dropped addition some of this stuff and even though my daughter's like oh, addition I'm like just do them. It's only two problems keep practicing So that's what I loved about teaching textbooks um, They're spiral learning the other thing I really really loved about teaching textbooks Is that your child can pretty much teach themselves and what I mean by that is this This little guide right here. This is a CD. We still have one of our CDs in the computer. And what I mean by that is that your child simply pops in the CD and the computer will teach the lesson for you, thoroughly detailed and well done. And I think that's amazing, especially like if you're a mama with several kids, like I can't say I have several kids in homeschool, I have two, so I have the time to sit down with each one. But I mean, if you're a mom of six, which I've known a lot of moms who have kiddos, um, who have six kiddos who rely on this to be able to teach the lessons because they have tons of other kiddos that need their attention. So if that's another thing I liked about it. So not only do I like the fact that it's spiral learning, but your child can do it individually on their own. Um, unfortunately, that didn't work for us because I did the DVDs and then my daughter, like four, month, four months into her homeschooling, was like, Mom, can you just teach it to me? Because even though the computer teaches that, I would like to sit down with you. And I was like, but why? <laughs> so I was like, okay, whatever works for her. So we actually completely just stopped using the CDs and we started doing this all on our own. We started just taking it up, good old paper and pencil, and started doing all these lessons, you know, 
on our own without the DVD, which is another great option. Um, so again, I love that it's spiral learning. I love that your child can do this on their own. The other thing I really liked about teaching textbooks is that they explain everything so well. Whether you choose the DVD or the workbook, like I'm doing it with my daughter, it is very detailed in, this, in, in not only describing but explaining the new concepts. Um, and I think that's wonderful because I think that helps us as mothers feel a little bit more confident about what we're doing. And if you're like me and you stress over things that you shouldn't stress over, I look at it overnight and then I'm like, oh, that's easy. And I go back to sleep because I'm like, it's elementary math. Where am I? <laughs> so I don't have to stay up like I'm sure I will have to as the kids get older and go into high school to review what the lesson is going to be. So anyway, those are the three things that I really enjoy about teaching textbooks. The fact that it's spiral learning, the fact that your child can do it on their own, and that they're very detailed. They know how to explain lessons to the point where you're like, duh, that makes sense. Um, um, now to the things that I didn't like about teaching textbooks. Um, it's not that I don't like it, but I want to warn you guys. It's more of a warning. Teaching textbooks is not an advanced math. It is definitely... Like they say that it's one grade behind, but it is so good for those kiddos who are struggling with math. I don't know about you, but I'd rather my child take it slow and be behind one year than to be able to say, oh, my child does a Becca. And yeah, they have no idea what they're doing. But if your child knows what they're doing with a Becca, that's awesome, that's great. Not all children are that way. So it's not even that I didn't like it, I'm just warning you guys, teaching textbooks seems to be a little bit more on the slow side. Um, will we be using this, te uh, this um, teaching textbooks next year? Yes, I will be using this for my oldest again. But next year I'm not spending $119, I'm simply buying the book in the booklet, which is like 45 bucks. So yeah, so now we're gonna go on to my uh, second graders math. For second grade, we did buy Horizon Math, and the reason is because teaching textbooks does not make a second, first, or kindergarten curriculum. They're from three and up. So when I found that, I was like, well, let's look for the next best thing, right? And I found Horizon Math, and I really like it because it's very, very colorful. It's very colorful. My daughter seems to enjoy it. This is the second book. She is on her second book. Um, she finished the first one rather quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys what I liked about it. What I liked about Horizons was that it's colorful, it's really pretty, and it's neat. Um, that's it. <laughs> what I didn't like about it is the fact that you do need a guidebook, a whole other guidebook to be able to teach you the concepts. Um, and they're not very, like, descriptive or even explain a lot of these things in the kids math book so the child could simply look at this and be like what do I do like they need you to explain everything to them even something as simple as addition um, that's what I didn't like about it I didn't like the fact that I needed a whole new other a whole other book uh, for like a teacher's manual to be able to explain simple things. They don't give you any really like thorough instructions like, hey, when you're when you're um, regrouping, this is what you need to do. Nothing like that. It's like, write the ratio. You know what I'm saying? And at first my daughter was like, what's a ratio? You know? And so I had to pull up my book and explain to her. And then they have like activities you have to do with things you probably don't have around the house. So I don't know, I just didn't like it. So with that being said, we're not gonna use Horizon next year. I actually chose a whole different curriculum for my youngest because my youngest and my oldest learn math such different ways. And you have to understand that. However, no matter which way your child learns math, make sure that they keep practicing their stuff. Whether you choose a curriculum that's already spiral learning or not, make sure that your child is getting those worksheets in to be able to practice new concepts, new lessons, so they don't forget, because practice makes perfect with math. So, same as learning a different language. You don't use it, you lose it. So with my daughter, we are not gonna be using Horizon Math, and I actually have a whole nother video um, revealing my 2017, or 2018, 2019 curriculum review, and I'll show you guys then what I actually chose for my, my, my youngest daughter for math. Since we're already on the subject of math, I want to let you guys know 
that math is one of those subjects like I've already mentioned a bazillion times where you have to use it or lose it. Don't shy away from it. I really want to encourage you and I want to come just spend a little bit here. I really want to encourage you guys to not let math be the reason you don't homeschool. There are so many resources. There's so much help out there now. And when I talk to a lot of veteran um, homeschooling moms, they're like, I wish we would have had the type of stuff that you guys have. Literally my child who has difficulties with math or my child who's advanced in math would have just like their potential would have just exploded, you know? So I do not shy away from homeschool based on the on your your um, ability to teach math because I think all of us God created us with amazing brains. I think we're all capable of learning. I think we're all capable of relearning, and I think that um, you can do this. So don't let math be the reason you don't homeschool, but definitely make sure. You get a curriculum that you yourself understand and that it's a curriculum that your kiddos are into and keep seeking help and to trust the fact that God gave you a brain and you can do this. Okay. Plus with all the help out there. Um, so anyway, guys, that was my homeschool curriculum review for this year. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, here we go. Let me show you guys again one more time. And like always, I flip through the pages towards the end. Teaching textbooks in Horizon Math.